Good morning, YouTube viewers. My name is Dave. Uh, I come out on YouTube as a regular blogger, farmer. I'm not a professional blogger, but um, I do come out, I, I do t display a lot of videos on YouTube, mainly just farming and stuff. Um, today, this morning, I wanted to make a video and, and let you all know, the viewers, you all being the viewers, more than anything else, is like a warning. Um, the new GoPro Max that came out just last month, uh, right now is November the 1st, so um, I want to let you all know that as far as I am concerned, I am a Windows user. I, I I run out of a nice uh, G7 computer out of Dell with a very high resolution uh, video card enough so that I can be able to do 360 videos uh, longer version of 360 videos Re regardless if it's GoPro or or Insta One Plus um, whichever one it is as long as it's a 360 video. Now, a lot of you have seen videos where there's a lot of reframing involved, where you have um, a 360 camera where you point it at someone or something and when you stop it, you can rewind or you can come back to that video and do individual framing you can make your own video you can pretty much make a twist to the left make a twist to the right make it look at you uh that's that's called reframing um which is okay but it's pretty much the same thing as a gopro hero 8 or gopro hero 7 or any type of hero or any type of camera basically it's not a 360. it it no longer became a 360 video um the true definition of a 360 video means that you take video of whatever you're doing. You might be walking across, you might be driving a bike or driving a car or whatever it is. And the user, the viewer, has control of whatever your surroundings are. The user, you the YouTube user, has control of not just looking at me, but you can look at my surroundings. You have control. But when a, when a video is reframed, it's already pre-programmed the way the user wanted it. If the user wanted to make the video look forward and then turn to the side or turn to the other side or turn to the, to the user, then that's the way he had it. In this particular situation, what I'm telling you about is that I purchased, I recently purchased the uh, GoPro Max. It's a 360 camera. Um, I saw a lot of the YouTube videos. They, a lot of people were impressed with it. But they're not telling you something that you probably don't know ab about yet. You know that this camera is costing $399. Now if you have $500 spare money that you can that you want to buy this product then fine but if you're a windows user you're going to use this for paperweight because you're not going to be able to use it this is going to be only be able to be used for paperweight and i'm telling you because yesterday i called gopro customer support and i asked them i asked them i am a user i wanted to film I wanted to video uh, I wanted to take video out of a 360 view not a reframe just pure 360 view means that you as the user would have control over the camera wherever you want to look at not just me but around my surroundings if you're a Windows user do not buy this product unless you want it for paperweight Unless you have an extra $500 that you want to spend 
and and experiment with it you're not going to be able to do anything with it if you're a windows user if you're a mac user i have no knowledge about a mac i hear that mac it, it, it works fine with uh with with mac computers but because of the fact that you synchronize this through a wi-fi to your telephone to your iphone pretty much if you synchronize this you can only do 30 minutes of facebook a 360 video not reframing 360 video 30 seconds it, it'll be a correction 30 seconds of 360 video on facebook 90 seconds of youtube of 360 video now if you're reframing that's something else that 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 turns it into an mp4 program and so forth but if you're just gonna do 360 video this is not for you this will not work for you because this is gonna be the perfect example because i caught i contacted gopro and in my computer i have the issue where i downloaded their software but i cannot run it for the mere fact that it's got cineform if you can see right here it's a cineform if i click it it's got h264 which is what we're looking for and uh hevc also but it will not change you you see how it does it on my computer i have a windows computer it might work on a Mac, but it's not working on a Windows computer. As long as this is on here, it, it will you will not be able to get a, a video output. It will not change at all. Everything else looks fine, and you can start the, the, the import, and you can start converting this from the 5.6 down to 4K if you're gonna be using YouTube, but you this this video will be unusable if you're running under windows you see how it doesn't let you that's when i contacted gopro customer support and i asked them what is going on with this software he said they said we're still working on the glitches there's nothing wrong with the mac software but the windows software is not working properly so if you want to Spend five hundred dollars and just look at a product. Pretty much, if you just want to look at a product and just look at it from the box and everything and experiment with it, you're you're fine in doing it. This product will not work if you're a Windows user. I have already contact customer support. They told me the very same thing. You just need to wait until they have an update so your five hundred dollars that you spent is gone already on a product that will not work for you unless you are happy with straight 360 degree video for 30 seconds of facebook 90 seconds of youtube but if most of you that are bloggers and want to record something longer than 90 seconds you are going to require a computer. You're going to require it to get the SD card from the from the camera and insert it into your computer, but but the files will not be able to be recognized by the computer because this particular program, which is called the GoPro Max Exporter, does not work. So for you Windows users, you want to buy this? It, it's your choice. You're an adult. You know how to manage your your your, your money you want to spend five hundred dollars away that is your choice also also because of the fact that it doesn't work on this computer it will not work on premiere pro a lot of us uh that are more advanced users well i'm not an advanced user but i like using premiere pro um under the premiere pro it will not even recognize the the software you take the sd card out of this and you you put it on your computer and you hold it in there under a folder and you activate premiere pro and try to try to try to download that that file 
to Premiere Pro, it won't even recognize it. It won't even allow you because the software that's in here has not been recognized by a Windows system yet because GoPro is still working out the, the glitches on this, uh, on this camera. I'm saying it's a good camera. It's got some nice features, but you cannot use those features until you have your Windows program working properly. If not, it's just paperweight. It's all it is, is paperweight. And I'm letting you all know because I'm getting ready to return my camera today. Uh, I just bought it two days ago and I could never ever get this thing to work on my computer. So I had to contact customer support. They said, oh, we apologize, but the software for the Windows version is not yet working. So all these bloggers and all these YouTube videos of people that are saying that they're fascinated with a camera and so forth, they must have a Mac computer. Because if they're, if they're using Windows, they're lying to you then. This is Dave, and I'm just letting you all know so that in case you want you have an extra five hundred dollars that you want to just wait waste away and put it away because what you're gonna end up doing is that I don't think you want to upload 30, 30 seconds of uh, video on on Facebook or ninety seconds on YouTube. It'd be a waste of time. You will not be able to film anything beyond ninety seconds. You can if you want. You can be out there filming ten hours of video. But not, none of that stuff will be accepted until that window, the Windows software, the GoPro Mac Explorer is working. Without that, you can't do nothing. Not even with Premiere Pro. So, you all have a good day. I'm going to return this today. And, um, and I'm going to go back to um, Insta360 ONE X. Um... I believe that one has come out a little bit better. I had that one before. It was still under, it, I was still able to return it to the store so I could buy this one. But this one, I actually regret ever buying it. It's not compatible with Windows at all. It, it might be compatible with Mac, but not with Windows, at least not right now. So I, I would prefer to just get my Insta One, Insta 361 X up and working and continue on with my with my videos than to be placing this camera and putting it in the closet because I have no use for it. It's just five hundred dollars just went down the drain until GoPro decides to upgrade this software for the Windows users. So this is Dave and I'm and I'm not here to put down GoPro. I have I have a GoPro Hero 7. I got a fusion I have the first Fusion. That one, that one's nice. Uh, I also had problems with it in the beginning, but because I, I needed a faster computer and, and a better video card, but that, that was the only problem I had. Because of the ratings and the videos that I saw for the GoPro Max, I bought it two days ago, and I've been disappointed ever since then. I am returning, to, I am re returning it today. But um, as I said, I'm not a professional blogger. I did everything possible to get this thing to work on my Windows computer. It, it does not work. So uh, that is your choice. You all have a good day. Another, another uh, subject involving the uh, GoPro Max is that... Um, and I hope there's enough lighting here. Um, let me see if I can turn on. There, maybe that, that'll work. Another subject that involving the GoPro Max, and I got proof of it, is that they tell you that when you're filming 360, now this is 360, not, this is not reframing. This is just pure 360, where the, where the uh, user has the functionality to look left or right, up or down uh, from his his or her tablet or the 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 uh, mechanism that they're using to watch your video. This is not a reframe. This would be just 360 only. When they advertised the GoPro Max, they said 
that it does the stitching built into the mechanism, built into the camera. It does the stitching for you, so you wouldn't have to do it in, in, in the computer. That, that is a crock of lies. I tried to download, or I tried to transfer a video that I had on my GoPro Max to my iPad Pro. So, which means that I had to transfer to, via Wi-Fi to my iPad Pro, but then if I wanted to put it in a, into an editing program that I have on the iPad Pro, there was no problem with that. The only thing is that when I when I did that, I'll show you proof on a on a on a different video where it shows that it's doing the stitching. The iPad Pro is actually stitching the video that I had taken on the GoPro Max, which means that the GoPro Max never stitched it. He never the, the the mechanism the camera never did any type of stitching. It was the iPad Pro. It took very long. It took about 45 minutes to, to download everything because it was stitching the video together. None of the none of the stuff that they tell you that the camera does the stitching inside, that's not true. I have video proof where my iPad Pro was doing all the stitching.